Thank you so much for joining me. This is The Edge, and we are back in subsistence. All right, so let's get this straight. This game is awesome. <laughs> it's, it's really a lot of fun. I took a lot of grinding, and I mean a lot of grinding, uh, but hey, it was worth it. I got a whole bunch of wood here. Uh, you can see there's a new update that just occurred, so it's actually a chest are a whole lot bigger. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you can also now do shift click back in and out, which is kind of nice. And it actually will alter and move things around inside here. So that makes it a lot easier to maintain things and go back and forth. Uh, again, very cool. The only thing I probably have in this whole game um, that kind of throws me a bit off is the hunger meter. The hunger meter I find at the food and then dying because you're hunger. Uh, only thing that really kind of irks me about it. I think it's too quick. You can slow down the stamina. You can reduce your stamina. But dying that quick. Ooh, fiber. Sorry. You, cordage, sorry. Very, very important. Um, we have a, a wolf over here that's bothering the shit out of us here. You see him? At level 3? Yeah, he's gonna die. Uh, he, he's about to get his own now. I fed up with his little ass. He killed me once while I was doing some, uh, some shit, and he leveled up, so... Yes, they level up. So, unlike anything else, these guys will level up if they kill you. So they get to level 2 and 3, I think it's start at 180 or 160. And now they're 200, uh, so he'll level up as he goes through, depending on his level he gets to. So, hey, uh, we must kill him. All right, so look at this coolness now. We have a lot of shotgun ammo uh, right here, uh, some other things. We can actually craft shotgun ammo very easily by placing this all together here and then going shotgun here and craft. So what it does, that's all you need pretty much is uh, the shells and the actual gunpowder. So it pretty much gives you some shotgun shells. Now it's 20 gauge shotgun ammo, the required. Now I wonder what the output is. I have not done yet. I waited for you guys because, you know, that would be just wrong to try it out. So it gives you one. That's steep. Uh, if you need six shells, you should get six uh, if you're using the gunpowder. It makes no sense for me, but yeah, that doesn't, that, that doesn't work. Um, you're going to have to make that, anyways, for my, my own opinion, would be to make that a little better than that. But hey, that's, yeah, that's up to the developer. Go ahead and give my, uh, my ideas, but uh, I think it's a little steep. So we'll make a little more. I don't want to overuse it because look how fast it goes out. And these are the ones that are hardest to find. Uh, so we can use these rifle rounds here, which are pretty cool too. They do a pretty good job. And these take a whole lot less, so it's four and ten. So we can make crazy craft another five of those. Two, three, four. Oh, we're out of powder. <laughs> no, we're not. Um, and we'll do five. Five of those. One, two, three, four, and I think five would be ten. Of them, so that'd be pretty good. We'll keep the rest of them. We'll try and select and get more of the stuff that we need, which is not a big deal. But at least now we have a couple of shotgun rounds, uh, which are really important. What we'll do is we'll fill up our shotgun while we're here. Can we select it while we're in this menu? I don't think so. And we'll just reload the baby. Now, suppose we from. Uh, Point blank rage, take out a bear with three shotgun shells. Uh, point blank. Again, you're taking a risk and a half, so we're gonna just grab some bandages so we don't have to injure ourselves a little more. Uh, where is this? Again, our hunger meter and stuff we'll have to watch out for pretty closely. I took the wrong chest in this one. Oops, don't press that. There we go. Sometimes the buttons are a little tough. I do a three rage. I know the update had changed my uh, buttons and a lot, so kind of screwed me up a bit, but it's okay. Uh, we will eat. See, I hardly got shit, man. A little bit of berries, just a little bit upwards. Uh, but we need meat, so let's bring it up because it's real pain. And also, it helps us water this one, so we have a lot of it. As you can see, I really did savage for a while, so you don't just get this on the start. There's a lot of work behind it, a lot of grinding. We do have some meat here, but it doesn't go bad, so so be it. Let's get some more. Let's take that little bastard out. Um, ba -ba -bum. I'm just gonna put this over here and maybe you know what we'll do is while we're doing this We'll actually craft the cordage. We need cordage is very important for crafting most of the stuff. So Since we have it Let's make as much as possible. I know I, I went out and got a lot. We have 48 But I don't want to make this episode just about you know little things You see how much stuff we have here. So we have some uh, extra stuff on, on the side here and some computer uh, electrical components. And we also have our scrap metal, which is required for resources and base. Very important. Again, very cool. We also have our bed here, which you can actually uh, energize in case yourself here. See, now it's spawn cost. I did spin in a one to test it out. So you buy the spawn cost and you have to wait for it to respawn before you can actually get it. Now, I'm not sure if he has a zero on top. It's because 
you see on top here, if he's gonna allow us to do multiple spawn spots, I'm not sure what the rationale is behind that. Okay, we're gonna put this back in here in case we kick the bucket and let the cordage go. And yeah, if we kick the bucket, we'll lose our cordage too. Uh, that's always fun. Uh, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab some bandages. Just in case for shits and giggles, we get anything here. And we'll just drop off the cordage we have put together. And let's go and kill a son of a bitch. Now, they won't seem to go on our base so far. I've seen. He's only 105. Oh, boy, he's not. Right. Come on, little prick. Jesus Christ, brother. I must have missed a shot or two there because I have fear. Damn, that nerves. It just got me. Whew. Do two bandages. Doesn't seem to really give you much back. Is it in time though? Is it gonna give me in time? Is that I mean if it isn't in time, then it really sucks because that's a lot of bandages. Just to bring yourself back up to uh normal. Uh we did take him out, so let's uh see how much food he had. He was level three, and he only had 105, so it's bears who are more powerful for sure. So yeah, the bears are not so bad. Let's just crouch down here and get butchered. Let's see what we get out of this. Since he was level 3, he should have been pretty good. Get cloth out of it. Interesting. I guess he meant hide. I mean, uh, yeah. That's interesting. And there's a bear on the other side, too, so we can actually go and do that, too, and start up a little feast to make sure that our, our well, we don't go hungry. Which is kind of exactly what you want to do in this game, pretty much. It seems to be a lot... So there's, this can't, can be compiled together? Two separate? Okay. So be it. Um, we're not... Is that a health is going up at all? I don't see it going up. I really don't. Maybe cooking up a liver would help? You think that would help? I don't know. All right, we're going to increase the base too in this episode. So we're going to try and do a lot of little things here. I know we went through a, a hell of a shotgun there. Let's just, let's just reload this baby. I like the animation a lot though, that's pretty cool. So five shots on that shotgun. Okay, we'll keep the other shots in case we need to reload it. And we've got a lot of cordage here, so in case something happens, let's just drop our cordage in here. Man, we're doing pretty good in cordage. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, whoa! I hate when it does that. Let me drop it in the right place. It feels like the right place, at least maybe I'm not. Maybe it's very specific. It's 50 the max? 50 is max. Okay. Where's the other cordage? Two more cordage left. Okay. While we're waiting for that, before we go and kill something else, just for food, which is, you know, not for shits or giggles, I think, but. All right. I got a shitload of wood. I really, like I said, I even have extras here for campfires and for other things. Uh, we're just going to take half of this up right now in case something happens. Again, you always want to be careful. Uh, with this game it's there is animals they won't attack you in your base but you know turn your head and all of a sudden one of them sniffs you out and you're done it's kind of scary shit okay um take some of this some scrap pieces and that let's just take this shit out we already have the door which is kind of cool we'll place that where we're going to place our door uh we're going to take material you know what just take as much shit as we can i'm the same we're going to place this all back after Nothing here to build, nothing here to build. Nope. Okay, that's pretty good. We could start a fire though and cook up some meat. Just to make sure, because I don't want a hunger meter. I know it goes down like a fuck, it goes down way too fast. Again, developer's doing a great job. He's watching our videos too. I mean, he's watching, uh, you know, I think Cage is also doing this video too. I know that he's watching a lot of us, so uh, it's cool. It's very cool. And uh, I hope that, I hope that 10 is max. They should tell us what the max is. I don't want to waste. Uh, matches. We can split by one here. Whoops. That looked like a bounce back. All right. Okay. Still, again, this is pre-alpha, guys, and you know this game isn't anywhere for sale yet. But again, by showing a lot of love to this guy and he's just showing love and making the changes and all that, I think this game would be well worthwhile to pick up. Okay. Let's let's cook up some uh, some liver. Right now, liver at raw is. 17 protein, one veggie, and plus 13 hunger, which is the bottom here, hunger. 
which is right here. And then you got proteins. We have a lot of veggies. We just ate, you see, look, we just had some and it went down that quick. That needs to be fixed, big time. Hydration, water is a real bitch to find. I don't know if you could do a water catch or a lake or something, we can grab the water and boil it. Um, anything like that would be pretty cool. I think that would be a, a good idea. Okay, that's still cooking. It's gonna take a while to cook, I guess. Now we're slightly cooked, which is 24 protein. 20 hunger, wow, that's pretty good. And 20 plus two vegetable, but look at the amount of time it takes us to cook it, we get hungry. I mean, yeah, in real life, it does take a while to cook, but I guess, you know, we don't starve to death that quick either. Once well, while we're waiting for that, let's start getting uh, some foundations going here. We need a couple of foundation. I'm gonna do one. Actually, wait, stop that. I hope we get that back. Let's do a curved one out here. Yeah, let's do a curved foundation back out on this side here. I want to bring it around a bit and hide it from the other side. Let's just do one curved and see if our steaks are ready. What does it say? Cooked. All right. So let's eat that baby up. Uh, yeah, it actually went up pretty good. Livers definitely seems to be better. I don't know if it's just me or not, but hey, so be it. Okay, we can turn this out and extinguish it. What it does, we actually hopefully will keep our fuel up here. I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. I don't actually have confirmation that I don't know. I didn't really check out that part of it. So let's see what we have here. We should have the curved foundation, which is right here at the end. I just want to bring it a little bit around. We're going to be able to move away our fireplaces in the way. That's for sure. We're going to build another one. It's a good thing I put that logs in there so I can lose them all. We don't get back anything for just taking apart things. So if we make a mistake, we're kind of stuck with it. We're gonna have to deal with it. I don't know if we should bring one out and then bring it around on one more time. I think we should bring one out first. Yeah, let's let's do that. So you see, I can select here from here, curved, uh, and the stairs, which is really cool. I like that idea a lot. We also have a doorway I want to create. That's the reason why I'm thinking about putting one straight and creating a door on that side. Let's do one straight. And then the doorway here, as many of you told me afterwards, but I realized a little bit too late. You can do a whole bunch of these cool things. So you have a quarter door. Uh, here you have this, you have curved windows, a doorway, window, and some really cool stuff in the full, of course. Uh, we do need a doorway done today, that's for sure. These are really cool too, little stairs to go upstairs, which we're gonna do. A roof, oh man, it's gonna be so cool. And there's some other stuff we have to build here. Uh, is it done? It's done. Okay. I think I should have built more than one foundation. Let's move yourself to check. You see also you can do forward left on the right hand side. Oops, I can't show you the mouse. But the right hand side says rotate left, rotate right, uh, back and forward. So if we want to, we can do number keys and move things around and rotate as you can see. So you can match the floorboards where they're at. Like I didn't do on this side. But it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's first shot, I'm sure we're going to play a lot more versions of this and we're going to rebuild another base anyway, so it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, G, we're going to put this up here where we have our doors. So let's see what this looks like. Toughest part is to find out which way is in and out. How do I know? If, I guess with that inside rim out there, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's cool. God, I hope that's the right way. Open door. How do I do it? F. All right, that's cool. Could probably build some stairs here. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Let's get the stairs going. We haven't seen those yet. I guess we're just gonna need the small stairs for now. Man, we're using up so much resource. I think I have a shitload of nails. Cordage wise, we are doing pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that actually. Um, I, I do like the the ability of doing that. I did like the middle fire thing. I was thinking about building with a middle fire like this. You know, all the way around and having a the campfire in the middle. I haven't debated whether or not we're going to do that. Not debated, but I haven't really made a decision. There we go. So this is going to go like that, eh? See, I wish we could dig down a bit. Still, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty nice. Got ourselves some stairs going. Uh, we do need another platform for the other side. And another wall. Just a regular wall for that side, I think we're gonna do. We're gonna have to move the campfire. 
Good thing we did a lot of, a lot of logs here. Let's bring it through the campfire. Oh, fuck, I hope we have enough shit. I mean, I worked my ass off to get this stuff going. Now, see, it just disappear. I have this fear of losing out of all, all the shit we built. There we go. There's no real way of going back on this, so we have to make sure we do this right. You, well, there is a real way. You can actually go back and delete it, but you don't get any of the resources back, which I hope that's not the future of the game. Uh, you should be able to get some resources. Same thing for the forest. I, I hate that we destroyed, but we got only a certain amount. I wish we could take apart things and get you know our resources back. Not all of it, but at least be kind with it. I'm liking this little fire in the middle kind of idea and building around on that side. Maybe a little bit of a slant. I don't know. What do you guys think? Keeping the fire in the middle. I don't think we can put stairs into the middle, so that's... No, that's not going to work. We have to move this fire out further up back. Yeah, no choice. Open a door. Woohoo! Whoops. Got to get in. Got to remember to press F on that one. I was looking at clicking. Uh, what am I going to do here? We need sticks. There we go. Because unfortunately we're going to lose this fireplace. Bye bye. So what we're going to do is just hold delete. And disassembling. There we go. Anytime. Damn, that's a lot of disassembling for a small campfire. But so be it. We need to build our base. We need to get this stronger. We also got to do the chest too. As you can see, the chests are not properly placed. We did that for a small place. And look, I can do it like, woohoo. I can build this high and low. And look how nice it's going to snap. Right, boom, snap. Isn't that nice? Boom. That's sweet. Man, this guy's a builder and a half. I love it. I'm just trying to think. Should we do a slanted outwards this way? And bring a little bit more nub and then go up for a second floor? Or should we make this a lot bigger? How much resources do we have here? Five, ten, quarters, one, two, three. And then we'll do a windowed. How about that? One window is straight on each side. Yeah, this can be two windows, one on each side for this one. Yeah, I like that idea. That's gonna look nice. Okay. Let's get this building here, buddy. Go big or go home. Come on. Shoot that one in inventory so I can put another one in. Thank you very much. Wow, that clipped in really weird. Did you see that? Look how far out that clipped in. That's like a defect or something, Because eh? this one looks like a smaller than usual. What the hell? Did this one fuck up? Wait a second. Ugh. I gotta see something. There's something wrong with that one. It must have clipped it in properly. Again, this is pre-alpha, guys, so just don't get mad at frustrated. Maybe I fucked up somewhere. Okay, we gotta disassemble this, I guess. What the hell happened here? Can I disassemble this? Is it gonna let me? Oh god, I wonder what it's gonna disassemble now. I'm fucking scared shitless. Especially when I'm not getting anything back, it kind of like irks me, but that's part of life. I'm gonna have to accept it, man. Part of friggin' life. I'm not stressing about it. I'm just happy I got the chance to play this. Yeah, there's one floor here that's fucked up, I know. I don't know, a couple of floors are fucked up. I don't know what I'm doing. I should have really looked at the way I'm putting this down from up here. Ah, think of Art Deco. We're not worried about the floor, this is the first build. And again, we're not going to go crazy about worrying about that. Okay, one last thing. We're going to build one more foundation. Hopefully this one, you know, hopefully this one will give us what we want. Again, I think it was just a glitch that occurred there. I guess we have two of these. That's good. We can put this aside for now. Put this over here. And that's good. We're still doing very good on wood. I was happy to chop that shit down. Come on. Boom! We could do this. Yeah, it's a very interesting game. And I, again, I think the hunger meter is the only thing that pisses me off. 
I read now about the game. Not enough to like go crazy about it, but I'm not very pleased about the hunger meter right now. I'm not gonna say I'm I'm very very happy about it, but it's okay. Let's get this window up here. Well, this window we can shoot out of. That's pretty cool. Let's put another one on this side. Again, as long as you have that wood piece in there. Now I did ask the developer. Uh, whether or not he's gonna make this available on Steam and when because I know you guys asked that question and he actually offered me the answer that it depends if people want to play it and then once he finishes a little more development in the game then he'll be looking at that so if you guys are looking at buying this game uh, prepare yourself that's definitely in the mix but again you guys should show support if you can through videos it's not to post from my video if it's not mine it's someone else's it's fine but you know you gotta give him the, the nudge or go on green light and give it a thumbs up or just get a thumbs up and talk about this get this uh, talked about the more people are interested, the more, you know, he'll work on it. He's a lone developer, okay? Alone. There's nobody else. So, again, remember, that's a lot of work for one guy to do. And I'm very impressed. The amount of dedication he has, he has more dedication than some people that actually build massive games. And it's not to, you know, sit there and blow his whistle. I'm going to be dead honest. You know I'm, I'll straight shoot your shit with that. But, you know, unlike Ark and other games, which kind of piss me off. They're uh, so pro console, it irritates the shit. I mean, it's all just sold out, so I'm not, into, I'm not into that game at all, just for that one reason. We talked about that before with many other people. Uh, that's the reason why. I've had problems with that game, and I asked for help, and I got zero, zero help, so. This guy, I tweet him, email him, and he is, uh, you know, answer as soon as he possibly can, so. Will we put this the right way? I don't know. Let's do that again. It's glow stick for a light. Okay, now we got jammed in somewhere. We're just too big. Okay. It's all that meat we're eating. It looks like that's right. I have to say it is. It's tough to tell. Oh, it is. Oh, this looks sweet. Oh, man. Wait till we build up stairs and second floor and shit. Oh, my God. Friggin' is psyched. Okay. Uh, we're going to do another curved... Yeah, let's do another curve foundation. I'm trying to get them out as much as possible. Again, I'm mean, gonna have to do a lot of this labor on the side, so it doesn't. It's not as easy to pop them out every day. There's no cheats or anything else, and that's what I like about also the developer. He's not giving out cheats to you know to YouTubers to make it easy. See, we have to experience the game, and that's fine with me. I, I get the idea. We'll do another curve window because we, we we want the windows. We want to see them. I don't want just the walls and everything. I can't put anything on the walls. So right now we'll just do a, a different, I guess, an easy build. And after that, we might just go and do a massive build somewhere. Or maybe this one will be massive too. I don't know. Who knows? We could extend this, have two compound, maybe make a compound on this, baby. What if we can make walls like solid? That's one thing that also would be cool. There's rails and stuff, but where is there no compound walls, defensive walls we can get? Huh. That would be really cool. All right. Enough talking. Yeah, just seeing this right now, it tells me that I should have put the wood plaques all straight forward like the other side, but it's okay. Oh, I had it. Guess we need one more there. Clip in. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is pretty cool too, though. What am I gonna do with this? What are we going to do with that? Uh, campfire, can we build one inside? Or is there a something like a... Is there something we can build in here? Wood burner. Cook food, keep your base warm, and render fat and biofuel. We can do it. Then so be it. Holy shit, man. I can't build anything else in this thing for a while. What the hell is this thing, anyways? What does this do? All right, we also need to name the base. So if you guys can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. All right, this output goes, doesn't go into our thing, but it goes here. Okay, let's see what this looks like. All right, so we recovered from a crash, which is not unusual with pre-alpha. You have to kind of deal with that. That's going to happen. They're going to they're gonna crash. So yeah, so we actually have this beautiful little thing here. I don't know if we're going to, the wood burner, we're going to place it. Somewhere warm, but yet, yeah, near the bed. How about that? Because it would be a bedroom. We, we'd want it near a bedroom. That would be the key. The stairs can go up. You know, stairs is what I'm worried about the most. So let's make it as close to the bed as possible. Like the old days. Keep ourselves warm. 
Here we go. Ooh, yeah, baby. So you have to open this up. You can cook. Ignition. Render fat. We gotta try that shit out. Oh my god, there's so much we have to try out. Um, we also need hammer. There's a, oh, we can't build anything else. We have to wait for this to go up. Because there's some stuff we could do here. Just actually damage items on base. You actually craft this. But you see, you need 50 of this. I wish you would tell me. And the power here. So with the power here itself, you can actually render lights and stuff. And supposedly it takes away power input and output. That's why we need generators and other things like recyclers and lot machines. So we'll have to render fat and stuff, which is really cool. We got a son of a bitch right here. Um, let me go pistol, not waste so much of the good shit in these assholes. Let's do pistol. Hey buddy, where are you? You know, I, I, before I act like a hotshot. <laughs> like, like as if this guy won't own me if I am outside. Did he run away? Really? So if I'm in my base... Okay, so that's that's interesting. So he's gonna run away from us. Is what you're saying? You, you just you're just gonna be you're gonna come back. You're gonna come back for more. All right. Make sure I get enough. Am I even getting him? I don't think I'm even getting him. Probably better with the longer rifle. I mean, it's it is it is what it is. It's just a hand, small little shot a gun. So I mean, it's not as if it's anything big. Well, he's level one as well. Did he die? Not yet. Oh, now he died. Oh, not a big hunter guy either, so don't think I'm celebrating the death part. I'm just celebrating not us dying. And we got extra food, so let's say hi to liver. Now, level one probably won't give us shit very much of anything. And I think next episode we're going to do, we're going to build some clothes and try and finish up a little bit of base, maybe build a second layer. I don't know. What do we get out of here? Got some raw steaks and some fat. So fat's good. We can render that down for biofuel next episode. I think we're doing pretty good. I'm going to leave it like this open like this for now because I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do. Maybe we'll close it off and make a stairway up to here then the second floor a little bit bigger. There is no arches and bridge. I mean arches. <laughs> there is no little extra oh, F. You know, every time I see myself bloody like that, I think of the forest and I think that how I have to Go get washed and hurried up. Um, I want to get rendered down the biofuel and stuff. But I think we'll have to wait for next episode because we're way over the mark. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's good. Actually, look at that shift right in. That's that's really freaking nice. You know, sticks and stuff, we don't need that right now, which is good because we have uh, we've got ourselves a little fire in here, a little fireplace. It's really cool. Yeah, so we can just store away our stuff and make sure we're all ready to go for next episode. Next episode, I think we still have a lot of cordage and stuff, which is kind of cool. So we're going to be able to at least do what we have to do uh, to get ourselves up and running. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload the guns in case I forget about them and something happens. So you just right click here. And if that doesn't work, you right click here and unload because the graphic just shows on the bottom. Here you go. And just combine our stuff in case we start losing anything. We don't want to lose anything. I mean, we don't want to lose any of this shit. It is really a survival game. This is the true kind of survival game what we were all looking for. And I do like the aspect. I think there's little things to work on, like I said. The health, the being hungry too often. Um, those kind of things kind of irritate. But again, you know, maybe other people think different. I don't know. I, I just think that needs to be a little tinkered with the amount. Slow us down. You know, lower energy. That'd be cool with me. Uh, but just don't make it like... Just like the way it's going right now. I just I don't know. That's why they would ask. Beyond that, the game is doing really good. I think the the fixes he's done already in a little bit of time of watching us, which he mentioned that after watching us, he saw the click part, uh, the shift click, which is really nice. So this is beautiful. All right, let's take a nice little shot of this. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, it's looking nice. It's looking real nice. 
I'm very, very, very impressed with this. And I want to see a lot more from this developer. So thank you so much for being here, guys. Again, to see more of this and to see other games like this, I mean, please, if you want to support, don't forget to hit the like button. It's always very, very helpful. And uh, I'll continue to build. I mean, we want to build a second floor. I think we have enough material. Maybe I'll have to do a little bit of logging uh, left. Yeah, we'll have to do some logging. It's not a big deal. We can do that. We can do that. So yeah, if we can do some logging and stuff and start building ourselves some clothes, which is very needed. So I really appreciate you guys spending time here. Again, you guys are awesome. This is the Edge for Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.